against the Afrika Freaks. KT, we're going to see them again tonight as well as they face off against Gen.G in our second matchup. They also had a week off last week okay, so against Khan here as well, so it's going to be hard to find a spare band slot. And the pick and ban here is going to be something I want to read, like tea leaves or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, it's going to be so Look exciting. at the bands and say, what does this mean about what this team wants to be doing? Because I don't think you need as many generic bands when there's so much personal rivalry between these players. It's just SKT first, no change in lineup on other side. We don't have any grand reveals when SKT and Griffin play. You know what to expect. Exactly. These right. Griffin upstarts that have come in and just decimated the LCK. Power rankings around the world put Griffin at number one. And you can understand why. Their knowledge of the game, their ability to play it out afterwards. Just incredible. So it's approaching. Wow. Actually, he goes for an oldie, but not necessarily considered a goodie on patch. 9.4. Remember the last time we saw Griffin, exactly. it was uh, it was a patch ago, so maybe... <laughs> wow. That does seem a little bit like they missed a memo, but... Okay, we're going to get 9.4 Urgot. He's copped a lot of abuse, as far as the balance team is concerned. Right. The bottom lane as well is going to be a fiery one. Let's get into it. Game 1, Griffin versus SKT. SKT being strong, it's early. Not necessarily Griffin's MO, is they're going to start right now? Aatrox does have the world end of a sword. He's going to put him in the grinder. That position is not where you want to be. He does use the flash to try and get out of the way, and that's just not quite long enough on the explosive charge. Corrosive charge, sorry, and Khan gets away. And you love the prize fight feel we have in Lombok. Yeah, SKT definitely want to get this double stack of Mount Drakes. They are going to pick up the aggro. It is going to be Teleport coming in. Answered immediately, but it's an earlier one. For Griffin, who want to get this team fight working. It's a fantastic Stop watching the back line. Teddy dives into the back of the pit but has to immediately exit. Somehow Flynn, he's going to stay alive and it's going to be Braun that picks up the first blood. But Griffin are still fighting. Khan has the world end up and he's going to be okay. Baker limps away from this fight but he's on the wrong side of the map and that's going to be the W landing from Viper. Doesn't have the ultimate, remember, so can't actually follow. That's going to be just Marta picking up a kill and SKT still hungry. It does mean also that Teddy can play more aggressively as well because he's managed to fit this stopwatch into his build a little bit earlier. Just threw down his control ward there as well. Looks like he's going to be going for the double seal as Faker predicts Chobi, but that's the flashing from my hands. There's a distortion though. Faker is going to be absolutely fine, and I love that play from the SKT mid laner. But you can see that Griffin are getting a bit feisty. The top yeah. flash there is a big investment given that Chobi wasn't actually in position to full channel of Paddlestar and get a reverse kill there. There was actually right now, because oh, she's so far behind in terms of front pace, it is struggling. People like Khan can walk up and get free damage. Yeah, it's a great knockoff, but a good spell shield there from Tarzan gets him out of the way. Viper does want to be aggressive, his sword's looking for the flanking play, but Lahens almost just yeah. dies from one round from Faker and Sword. He has to back away. This is Infernal Drake to SKT, guaranteed. And they're not going to lose anything. And this is what happens when you have map control. They don't think they have an insanely massive scaling advantage. So they pull the trick. Oh, Paranoia is coming in. Sword gets into a great position, but the flash gets Faker out of the way. Distortion even further as now the trouble bubble lands on to Khan. The re engage though from SKT is Sword. Very, very low. Stopwatch keeps him alive. Spirit Rest Refuge from Lahens as he's buying so much time in the back line. The flash forward Martin doesn't get it as the Perch Shield comes up for Sword. Now Khan with his stopwatch gets himself out of this fight and there are no kills just yet this is just ridiculous just Lahens falling as Toby yeah looking for it Fake is gonna stay alive Guardian Shield he's gonna help even more as the Guardian Angel he's gonna be in there and now Sword looking for the back line where is he going though as Khan he's over the wall he's backing and now he's Toby got might be in trouble Oh my goodness, Teddy grabs it with the explosive charge and now Khan cancels his back split, gets on in there, Infernal Chains gets the pullback and the Urgot could be going down. Four kills looking to be on the line now for SKT. They're able to pick up three kills in a single fight, SKT. Route in terms of the kill score. Tristana will go back, love the re-engage from Teddy, so aggressive and bold on the back end to assassinate Viper. A long, crazy fight that's restarted a couple of times. They go all the way to the beginning. It's all about a flank timing. They know they can get Tarzan and the Shen and Ergot into the back line. But because they've got nothing started in this game, they don't actually have the banks behind to get the first kill. And then it looks like it's going to be a trade of Lahens 
and Khan. Khan goes in as a one, left hands in the back line as a one. You wouldn't give the advantage there to kick out the top laner rather than taking out the support, but the stopwatch at the end actually immunes the fear beyond death. And then we think, okay, now surely it's over. But it's never over when it's SKT <laughs> versus Griffin. Trophy to watch the health bar here. He falls to single digit health, but only the little he just shield from Lee his Sin. Own martyr for the Guardian Shield. And the Lee Sin, I believe, also. But the WN on there. Sword comes with the bank. But Teddy smartly. No sword is out of position. And his old ends on Dubai for two autos. And the explosive charge enough to pick up the kill. SKT, they use their early gold lead. They don't over respect Griffin's pension for great things on AK team fighting. They just focus on the game that's here today. And it's a game they're winning. Yeah. And it was absolute finesse in this team fight as well. Yeah. Clear yeah. calls yeah. for the turnarounds. Just amazing stuff. So we're already into a fight. Clint's going to get taken down here by Viper as Griffin are looking to turn this game around. That's a great trouble bubble landing on the Mata, but he stands behind Teddy as they're going to try and go back for this one. Khan does find Tarzan on the back end, but the fear is going to tether. Mata goes into his stopwatch, but remember, it's a 4v5. Guardian Angel does go down. And now Khan dives into the front line. Faker can't find his way in. Griffin lose some health bars, but otherwise, it's a positive trade. It's a really notable moment. Look at the gold lead right now. It's 6,500 gold. It would have been 7,000 plus as that fight started. And Griffin found an advantage, a one for zero. We're going to have to see the replay to understand how it came together. But well, Baron actually fell in favor of yes. SKC as well, while well, that one did. Uh, get replay for you guys. There was a lot of meanwhile, Zach, it turns yes, out. Yes, absolutely. This one. We're going to go back to how this fight happened. So the Baron is something that happened off screen. And this is just loading in there. So it's a kill against Baron. Still obviously a big advantage, SKT. But we know Griffin will pull the trigger. They don't need introductions. They don't care about Baron buffs. They get a single Baron buff, but it's not actually a relevant one. The R button yet. Trovi hasn't landed the bubble that he wants. And Sword is basically out of this fight. Griffin needed to start something, but then their top laner lost all of his health bar. Exactly. Things just not coming oh. together here. Teddy will take a bit of poke, but not going to be relevant. SKT choose when to push up and when to back away. That's something to remember. Griffin, do not choose anything. Where the game lies right now. So we from behind looking way more balanced. Even if Mata will maybe be one to contest that point. Can they fully disengage here? There's a lot of hop and skipping and jumping. Definitely some hopscotch being won by SKT. Oh yes. As they escape, notice that gold lead. It's around a famous number for Griffin, and Choby might be dead. Yeah, Mimic Distortion is going to land, but the chain isn't, so Choby's going to walk away with his life in there. Clint's going to be standing on this ward here for Griffin as he does sidestep. Choby's not landing the bubbles that he needs to, and speaking of which, Sword's going to take so much damage. Garbo Stone Play, is it going to be enough to actually keep him alive? As here's the re-engage. Tarzan dives into the back line, but Teddy is going to be able to kite him out. Sword is out of this fight, he's got no help. And the kickback just for the disengage, the grinder is going to come in, but there's a GA, and now Griffin do regroup. They do get themselves together. Yeah, and that on to Khan was exceptional, and now Teddy going to get knocked up. The destroyed in the back line, and it's actually Teddy that throws the auto attack. Now Choby taking damage, and the Tristana with two kills in this fight should be out of help. Destroy the Griffin Bay. Two teams fighting at such a high level in the team fights, both of them understanding when they can go in and when they have to respect. Teddy, able to re-engage. They're going to get two inhibitors out of this. I don't know if Griffin can mount a defense, and Braum in the front should make it guaranteed. This is absolutely beautiful from SKT. They're playing around their composition so beautifully. They're playing around their win conditions, their timings. This, this is what we wanted the first time we saw this matchup. Absolutely amazing stuff for SKT. It's a blind Baron start. Griffin have no idea. Void Seeker. Not even going to get there. The Purple Worm is going to belong to SKT, much like we assumed it would. And so much of this ends up being pretty even more than Griffin deserved. Now we're on Elder. Can they pull a rabbit out of a hat? Yeah, it looks like they're going for this 50-50. Sword's going to come in with the smite. Paranoia does come down. Who's going to get it? It is going to be the Urgot. It's now SKT. Have to fight with this disadvantage, but they still want it. It's still so much damage. It's Tarzan. He's torn apart. He still doesn't have his GA back up again. And SKT are going to have the man advantage. And it's good stun is going to come down. Stand United, not enough as Chovy is eradicated on the back end. And now Lahens, he's relegated to just trying to buy time for Griffin. Another double kill for Teddy. It's an emergency Elder Dragon just because they know with no map control, no inhibitors, they're going to lose it anyway. Unfortunately, that means SKT just take the fight. They make the right decision. They stand up for the Elder Drake and they might just end the game right now. Yeah, they're looking to. They will break open the base in all three lanes first as this minion wave is going to conga line forward.
Void Seeker often has to be respected, but not this time. It's 40 minutes. It's a level 18 Tristana. Only a few auto attacks, and these Nexus turrets are going to be history. And SKT may have made history now against Griffin. The second map that this team has ever taken from the Young Guns, and the Nexus will go down. SK Telecom are victorious. SK Telecom T1 to the huge roar of All Park will win game number one. Like you mentioned, they double the best of one losses that Griffin have taken this season, but Atlas even bigger than that. They watched on yesterday as magic happened here, and finally we saw Jinnah find their first victory, and you know what they said? They said double or nothing. We're going to come in and mean another meaningful moment happens this week. They want to be the first team to beat Griffin in a best of series in Lull Park, and what a way to do it. They take them down in game number one, and Griffin was certainly second best from minute one. Absolutely.